well played. I just can't get away from this. I swear, this is gonna be on my grave, on my epitaph. Like something like, he lived to a rightly age of such and such until he was ended by the the Grim Pommeler or the Rightly Reaper. I don't even. I mean, at least the Pommel meme is better than the glorious Nippuru Steel. But it's still. It's still so overused. I mean, if people were at, at least would try to be creative about it instead of just spamming it mindlessly everywhere, just at least make it a good joke. Don't don't just put it in a sentence just for it to be there. But this, well, okay, gotta give him credit. That's pretty cool. Okay, so please stop sending me the link to the Mordhau trailer. I know, I've known about this for a while. And it's difficult enough to keep track of my, or try to, keep track of my overflowing inbox without an extra 50 or 100 comments every day just about this game. I'm not even kidding. I wish I was. So, anyway, this looks pretty damn interesting. No doubt about it. I don't want to talk too much about it before having played it. And yes, I am going to get the alpha key as soon as it's available. And, um... Yeah, it, the obvious comparison to Chivalry is right there. They're pretty similar games. Based on just the trailer so far, it looks like this, like Mordhau might be doing a better job, or at the very least, it's clearly more complex. There are more ways to do attacks and parries and uh, counters and all of that. And... It's very nice that they seem to have addressed that problem that Chivalry had, the exploit where you know, if you just drag your mouse or, or move it in the same direction of the attack, you can either slow it down or speed it up, which that's just no good. And this seems pretty solid uh, in terms of mechanics. And I really appreciate the philosophy behind it, the ideas they had about game development. The main focus is on the gameplay, not so much on realism and whatever, but it is, it seems like one of the most realistic depictions of fighting, in fact. Uh, one of the quotes from the gameplay trailer is, we want fights to look like fights without the endless spinning and back twisting. Now, that in and of itself gets two thumbs up from me because this is pretty rare. And I appreciate that because I think the result looks so much better. I mean, if you like the typical generic spinning, twirling, over-the-top fantasy fighting style, then okay, whatever, more power to you. Um, but even though a video game doesn't need realism, it helps. It helps make it look better, at least to me and many others, and it helps immersion. And you know, I actually wish there were more fantasy games with this sort of approach as well, because I very much like fantasy. <laughs> Based on some of the videos I've, I've done, you may not think so, but absolutely, I like fantasy. And, you know, magic and, and, you know, various races or rather species, actually, if, if, if it comes down to it. And, you know, dragons and, you know, mythical creatures and all of that stuff that can still have fights that look like proper combat and everything. You see it very, very rarely, but it's pretty cool when it happens. Anyway, so back to Mordhau. So what they, one of the other quotes is, it's not a realistic depiction of historical European martial arts. This actually looks more like HEMA than 95% of other games I've seen so far. This may very well be like the close to the maximum degree of realism that is, for one, achievable and also desirable in a game. I mean, there's always going to be some limits. For example, footwork generally looks a little bit clumsy compared to real martial arts just because of, you know, the physics and animations and how things have to work gameplay-wise. It's 
seems to be pretty difficult to capture that well and it needs to play well first and foremost if you wanted to make it look like completely like Pima for example you know if you wanted to make it a simulator I think you would need more kind of pre-scripted animations and sequences so s perhaps more like a in an Arkham style fighting system where it's really more about you know push that button at the right time and the character is going to go through that sequence of actions which is going to look make it look more convincing so this seems like a very solid approach and i'm definitely looking forward to playing it it's it clearly rewards skill you know the way the controls work and all the the nuances of how you can respond to attacks and how you can chain attacks and you know feint and all of that there there's a lot of potential lots of complexity it'll take a while to figure out and, and get good at but it's certainly promising that's for sure and it's also nice that there's plenty of customization one thing that i would personally like to see changed which i doubt they would change but it would be nice if there was no blood splatter effect whenever you hit armor because that's something that always looks kind of weird to me um I mean, yes, blood splatter, it's, you know, for effect to make everything more visceral and more, you know, satisfying, whatever, when you, when you hit people. But if you have somebody in full plate and you you smash them or whatever, there shouldn't be blood fountains coming out of them. It's a little strange. So it would be kind of neat. Also, that you can see the difference then between hitting armor and hitting flesh. Because, I mean, even, even without blood, you would still do damage if you... Especially with a murder stroke to the helmet, there wouldn't be blood, but... It would be, um... Very unpleasant, to say the least, and could be potentially lethal. So, there's that. But otherwise, as I said, it looks very solid. Probably gonna be pretty good. I say probably because... Hmm, we know sometimes things don't end up the way the trailers would suggest... No Man's Sky, anyone, but I'm fairly <laughs> optimistic about this one, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so stop the messages or I will unscrew my pummel.